Hi guys. Hello. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. It's Ayen Cafe. And um, I know we're, we're, we're told you guys that we were going to be on every Saturday. Yeah. But we weren't on last Saturday. We were, yeah, we were not. We were not yeah. on yeah. last Saturday. Yeah. yeah. I, I had some stuff that I needed to take care of. Mm -hmm. And so yeah we we apologize for that but yeah. we we plan to be on every saturday like this yeah. is a commitment that mm -hmm. we're we're make, making to you guys and um we we value the work that we do here yeah we yeah, do we value yeah. the work that we do here and mm -hmm. we believe that um you guys are blessed by it we are blessed by it yeah. um, some of the things that we talk about here like sometimes it's like i'm talking to myself you know it, it resonates a lot yeah with us too so Please, as you come on, share, mm -hmm. share, because um, this is very important stuff. We're still continuing with the identity series, yeah. And um, today we're we're talking about meeting yourself, encountering exactly. yourself, yeah. And I think we kind of scratched scratched the surface on it um, when we were introducing it. Yeah. The the first video that we made to introduce the identity series, we scratched the surface of mm -hmm. meeting yourself and the difference between that picture and what you consider yourself now yeah. and your current picture. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. we were we were talking about um, examples like Gideon, mm. Abraham, Abraham, Moses, Moses. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. at some point, God actually we had to. He changed Abraham's name. Yeah. Changed Sarah's mm -hmm. name. Like, yeah. okay, one of the things that is holding you back is your current identity is also wrapped to your name. <laughs> In Abraham's instance, right? That's true, and yeah. God was like, "You, you are, you are, you're a father of generations. Yeah. You're a father of so many. Yeah. So I want you to believe mm -hmm. that, and to help you believe that, I'm even going to change your name. I know. Yeah." I love that. Yeah. Yeah. And see, same thing with, with Sarah, Sarah too. Because yeah. her name was Sarai, right? Yeah. So this is this is important mm. to God. Like I went some of those places when you read in the Bible, yeah. like it helps you kinda like get a picture or yeah. catch a glimpse of how important things like this it, are you know true. are yeah. are to God. Because this is connected to your purpose, guys. Yeah. This is connected to your purpose. Your identity is who you are. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know who you are, how are you going to confidently walk? Hi, Tina. Hi, Tina. Hi, sis. Please share. Please share as you come in. Um, if you don't know who you are, how are you, how mm -hmm. are you supposed to confidently walk in your purpose? In your how purpose, are you supposed yeah. to confidently do that which you've been called to do mm -hmm. you know yeah. how mm -hmm. are you supposed to recognize what you mm -hmm. have inside of you yeah. how are you supposed to recognize that treasure that you carry yeah. that the world needs mm -hmm. okay so if you carry if god has put it in the inside of you somebody needs it exactly. somebody needs to yeah. hear that yeah. somebody needs to see you walking the walk and talking the talk yeah um to be blessed by it hey, hi tonya <laughs> hi uh, thank you for joining us sister and please share please yeah. share as you come on so yeah we're going we're going to talk about all those things today mm -hmm. and yeah. if you guys have any questions please we want this to be interactive very much so yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. please ask questions and yeah. um share with your friends just yeah. so that we can we can all be blessed like we keep saying we're your cheer squad and we're not taking that lightly like we're yeah. cheering you guys on and uh, we believe you guys are cheering us on as well you yeah. know as we 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 reconnect, reconnect yeah. to who we are who and we what really we carry are. and you know let the world see and be blessed by what we have yeah. what we carry as yeah. as children of god mm -hmm. so now let's 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 talk about um some of those examples in the bible yeah. you know that we, we brought up um yeah. gideon, gideon I, I i love yeah. i love gideon yeah I love Gideon, you know, so and, and I think we talked about it in that first video to how when God, when Gideon encountered the, mm -hmm. the angel and the angel was like, mighty man of valor, <laughs> Gideon was like, excuse you, mighty man of what? Who is mighty man of valor? I don't see any mighty man around here. And, you know, it, it's, it's funny. Mm -hmm. But it's sad at the same time. Yeah. You know, he couldn't yeah. even recognize who they were talking about. Imagine that, yeah. He's like, me, I'm here hiding. Mm -hmm. I'm the... It, it, yeah, he's like, just so you know, I'm the, I'm the least <laughs> in my father's house. What, 
what what might <laughs> where's the might <laughs> you know so but then it also helps us realize that sometimes the true picture yeah the true picture of who you are mm. when you encounter that true picture it blows your mind that's so true yeah. it blows your mind yeah. another example is moses moses yeah you know mm -hmm. Look at the work that God had called Moses to do. Mm, yeah. Moses was a, the leader of leaders. Imagine, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you, you, you leading the, the children of Israel out mm -hmm. of Egypt, mm -hmm. out of bondage. They had been in bondage for how many hundred years? Yeah. And Moses had to be the one to lead them out. When God called Moses to do it, where was Moses? <laughs> <laughs> where was, it's not like Moses was not in Bantu. <laughs> Moses was not... He, 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 I mean, like physically, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and looking at in terms of location and everything, Moses was not equipped. No. Mm -mm. But God was like, you have everything you need inside mm -hmm. of you. Yeah. And, and Moses is like, God, <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> I can't even talk. Like, mm -hmm. do you realize the fact that I can't even talk? Yeah. Like. I'm a stammer. Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to stand in front of these people and be like, yeah. ah, <laughs> God says you should, you, you, I mean, yeah, it's time. We're leaving Egypt. How am I supposed to do that? God, I can't even talk. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, and uh, my people hate me. Exactly. Yeah. My people hate mm, me. Yeah. So, but these are the same people that Moses had to lead. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, Mm -hmm. That helps you understand how enormous yeah. the task was before Moses yeah. and how little mm. Moses felt facing that vision. Yeah. But what helped Moses? Mm. Moses was connected to God. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, that's a, a big part of what we're trying to share here today. Yeah. You know, being connected to God, that, mm -hmm. God is your source. God yeah. is the beginning. He's the end. Yeah. Being connected to God, that helps you. Yeah. Pull down whatever false image you have. Mm, yeah. And a lot of these images is as a result of maybe um, the things that people have said to you yeah. about you, mm -hmm. the things that you've accepted yeah. about yourself, mm -hmm. that your experiences, those cars from those experiences that you've had, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. they shape this, this false image that you yeah. have of yourself. And that false mm -hmm. image starts, it superimposes itself yeah. over your, your real image. Mm -hmm. And God is like, no, that's not you. Yeah. That's not you. That like so people true. are like, ah, you're shy. Mm -hmm. You're no, mm -hmm. that's not you. Yeah. God calls you a mighty man mm -hmm. or woman of valor. Yeah. You're a fierce warrior. Wow. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and I, I was listening to Terry the other day. Mm. You, you guys know I talk about Terry all the time. <laughs> and and she, she, she was talking about how the Bible says God gives us an equal measure of faith. Mm -hmm. God doesn't give another person more faith. That's true. And he, so, 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 so she was like, what, what mm -hmm. is different is what you do mm -hmm. with that faith. Yeah. And as you use your faith, it grows. Mm. But we start, we all start on a, a plain level field. Yeah. We all are given an equal measure of faith. Yeah. What are you doing with your own faith? Mm. What are you doing with... So it, it's the same thing. We are all birthed with something. Yeah. You know, what mm -hmm. I carry inside of me mm -hmm. is not the same with what you carry inside of yeah. you. Your gifts and your talents are different. Like, you, same, you're yeah. amazing in art. Mm -hmm. I am not. <laughs> I, I already, I already know, you know, <laughs> so like we carry different things and that's because we, we have d yeah. a different purpose. Exactly. You know, you know exactly. what I mean? Like your exactly. path is entirely different from my life. So God yeah. equips you differently, mm -hmm. but what is the same is the fact that you carry something. Exactly. Yeah. You carry something that the world needs. Yeah. You carry something that is a treasure. Mm -hmm. You carry something, mm -hmm. you carry a solution to a problem. Huh. Wow. Mm -hmm. You carry a solution to a problem. Mm. So the question is, what are you doing? Do you know what you carry? Yeah. And if you don't know what you carry, what are you doing to find out mm. what you carry? Yeah. You know, and part of that process of finding out what you carry mm -hmm. is recognizing that your current identity, who you think you are, that false identity mm -hmm. is not how God sees you. Yeah. So how the, does God see you? Mm -hmm. That's 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 an integral part of that process, finding that out. That's and so how do you find yeah. that out? You go back to the word. Yeah. Yeah. What so. does God say about you? Yeah. Who does God say you are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Who does God say you are? And that was that was the same that, that was the process that Moses went went mm-hmm. through, you yeah. know. God was like, Okay, for a little bit I'm going to let Aaron help you. Mm-hmm. Since you know, according to you, not according to me, because mm-hmm. before God came to Moses, yeah. God already knew that Moses was a stammerer. But God knew that that was not a factor yeah. in Moses' mm-hmm. ability to succeed in what he had been called to do. Wow. That was yeah. not a factor. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, mm-hmm. but because God is so good. Yeah. He accommodated Moses. That's true. He was like, I will let Aaron. But then if you read, you will see that at some point, Aaron was even a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. So it's like, if Moses, if you had just listened. <laughs> I'm sorry, Moses. But if you had just listened. And go by yourself. <laughs> First step. <laughs> right. You know, so mm-hmm. that's why we're like a key part of this process is staying connected to God. Staying connected. Staying yeah. connected to mm-hmm. your source. And believing. Belie- yeah. Whatever he says, it may not seem true. It may not look true. Mm-hmm. But God doesn't look at the physical. Because no. what factor. he sees inside of us is will blow our mind. Mm-hmm. We're just like, okay, God, if you see it, I'm going to, yeah. It's hard, but God will bring us to that place where we're like, this is truly who I am. Because Moses, like, once he stepped out into that image Ooh, that God he saw him. Sword. Yeah. He sword. And yeah. he was, like, parting Red Sea, like, no one's like, business. No, but like, <laughs> Divide. <laughs> you know? Like, he was, he was bold. He mm-hmm. was bold even before Pharaoh. Yeah. Because he was sinking into the identity that, that God, God had showed him. Mm-hmm. So God always reintroduces us to who we are. Mm-hmm. And that that image seems so unbelievable. It seems like impossible, mm-hmm. but he knows how to get us there. Yeah. And he knows what we can accomplish mm-hmm. when we see who we are. Right. Yeah. And I mean, I love what Jeremiah says um, mm-hmm. about about courage. Yeah. And it, I feel like this needs courage too. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes to look at that thing that God says about you, even though you don't feel it, yeah. you may not feel it. Like God is like, you're strong, you're mighty, you're, you know, you're a conqueror. Yeah. And you may not feel it, but that's not a factor. You know, um, a, a, a yeah. says, a courage, courage is not the absence of fear. Mm. It's progress, even in the presence of fear. Yeah. So you may be shaking in mm-hmm. your boots or yeah. whatever shoes you're wearing, but... <laughs> Keep going. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Act like you're you're you you feel that boldness mm. that God says you you, you yeah. know God says you're bold. Mm-hmm. Talk like you feel that boldness. Yeah. And you know what? You know how they say practice makes perfect. Mm-hmm. It will start to manifest. Yeah. My, Miles Morrow said. Um, I, I was listening to him the other day as well, mm-hmm. and he he was talking about personal leadership, developing your personal leadership, yeah. and he said. You know, a, a lot of people who don't know his story mm. believe for some reason that he's always been, that he had always been like that he passed. Yeah. That he had always been like that. He was like, no. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he's from a family of, I think he said, a family of yeah, 11? Lots of kids, yeah. yeah, lots uh-huh. of kids. Yeah. His father was a Baptist pastor, and they grew up in poverty. Mm-hmm. He said he was sleeping on the floor in a roach-infested, you know, house. Yeah. You know, re- leaking roof and everything. Yeah. And he was like, look at me. I remember that. Can you recognize, can you recognize who I was with who I am now? now. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know what the difference is? Mind change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mentality. He said he read the the scripture in the Bible that changed him and changed his life for good was, was, was in the book of Genesis that where God says he has given us dominion. Mm. And he was like, God has given me dominion Mm -hmm. dominion over resources dominion over everything Mm -hmm. around he's like what am i he started walking yeah that path into discovering who he is yeah and that changed his life Mm -hmm. you know that changed his life for good yeah and uh, poverty was a thing of of the past it became you know and and it's not like when when, when i Please share, please share as you come on, mm-hmm. guys. So what we're, we're not saying is going to be a walk in the park, you know, yeah. it's going to be easy, but we're, we're just saying it's a process that mm-hmm. is worth it. Yeah. You know, 
discovering who you are yeah. understanding who god says you are because that holds you know believing that false mm -hmm. image yeah. or believing that false sense of identity that mm -hmm. society has made you believe about yourself yeah. or that family sometimes it's even family sometimes it's even family you know yeah. like there, there, there are some families where it's almost like kids are, are kind, oh this one is the smart one mm -hmm. this one is the dumb one it, in Cameroon mm -hmm. actually when yeah. I was growing up there were certain schools mm -hmm. that were for smarter kids mm. and then certain schools that were for average kids yeah so like there, there, there are some, in a lot of cases when you hear that a particular kid is going to a certain school you just know for sure ah, that one was not smart enough <laughs> you, you know can you imagine how that can shape mm -hmm. Yeah. your identity and 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 your idea or your knowledge of who you yeah. are yeah. you know because you, you start believing these things mm -hmm. it's almost like even societal constructs mm -hmm. yeah reinforce these mm -hmm. false ideas yeah you know and it's like you grow up not tapping into what you have inside wow. but you grow yeah. up living mm -hmm. in the image the false image that society has, has yeah. you know has about you mm -hmm. and at some point you start believing it yeah and you start limiting yourself you know you have opportunities yeah. that come along and you're like but no you i can't them. no yeah. mm -hmm. no and then you you start referring other people like she'll mm -hmm. be good for that mm -hmm. what about yourself yeah what about yourself yeah you know so wow. what we're what we're trying to um say today is you hey, are valuable elvis. hey elvis <laughs> welcome guys and please share um mm -hmm. please share as you come on what we're trying to say is you are valuable yeah you carry a treasure on the inside of you that the world needs yeah you carry a treasure on the inside of you that the world needs mm -hmm. you are fierce you are bold mm -hmm. you know you can you can you can you know go through that process of discovering who you are it's mm -hmm. a worthwhile process yeah. you are who what you carry mm -hmm. because the world needs it oh yeah somebody needs it mm -hmm. somebody's waiting on the other side of your mm -hmm. obedience somebody's waiting on the other side of you finding out who you are who you are and what you yeah. carry mm -hmm. the the world is waiting for you to start manifesting stop wasting time that's what we're saying guys stop wasting time the mm. fact that you're alive people are dying on a daily basis mm. the fact that you're alive is testament enough to the fact that you have something to contribute to this mm -hmm. world so yeah. it, you need to get busy you know <laughs> enough with the procrastination you need to get busy you need to get busy guys yeah. find out who you are and start walking mm -hmm. in your purpose yeah. and i think another thing we when, when we were talking earlier on was who you surround yourself with mm -hmm. who is in your squad yeah. some of you need to start changing your squad mm -hmm. Some of you need to start changing your squad. You need to find new friends. <laughs> if you're hanging around people that are reinforcing limitations, mm -hmm. I wouldn't call them your limitations because sometimes those limitations are mm -hmm. as a result of what society is saying about you. Mm -hmm. That's not who you are. No. If you are surrounded by people that are reinforcing those limitations, you, mm -hmm. need, you need to switch teams. Yeah. Come join us. <laughs> on a serious note you mm -hmm. know i mean like we that's why we call ourselves your cheer squad yeah you know because we're here to cheer you on we're here to cheer you on we're here to remind you of what you carry of mm -hmm. who you are and the fact that the world is waiting yeah the world is waiting you know people are dying on a daily basis you are alive for a reason mm -hmm. you're alive for a reason yeah so um be encouraged guys mm -hmm. be encouraged yeah. you you carry something on the inside of you you are worthwhile mm -hmm. and from today if somebody tells you that you're not worthy or that you're useless or, mm -hmm. or whatever remind them I am sorry if I've ever given you <laughs> this is a serious moment okay, sorry. I am sorry if I've ever given you the idea that it's okay mm -hmm. for you to talk to me like that but that's not who I am mm -hmm. and then remind them of who you are I yeah. am worthy I am a child of God. I am treasured. I carry a treasure and be waiting for my uh, baby shower. <laughs> oh yeah, we're about to birth. That we're about treasure. to birth. We're about to birth. 
the Bible says the the world awaits mm-hmm. uh, the, manifestation the manifestation of sons of God. Yeah. That includes you. Yeah. The world awaits your manifestation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So don't don't give up. Don't quit. Mm-hmm. Elvis posted something today about don't quit. Do yeah. not quit, guys. Mm-hmm. Do not quit. There is so much life to be lived. So much, yeah. There, is, there are so many lives mm-hmm. that um, are waiting to be encouraged by your life. Yeah. That are waiting to be encouraged by your ministry. Mm-hmm. That are waiting to be encouraged by your calling. That are waiting to be blessed by your mm-hmm. invention. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By your invention, because some of you. Oh, oh, we're we're you. we're so happy to hear that, my Adele, sister. Yeah. yeah. Um, some, some of you carry an invention. Mm -hmm. Some of you carry an idea that is going to solve. Some of you carry the Mm. cure for cancer. Yeah. Wow. That's so true. So you need to get busy. Mm -hmm. You need to get busy. You need to get busy. Dig deep. Mm -hmm. Dig deep. Whatever false identity, it could be as a result of how you look. Mm -hmm. It could be as a result of you know your past mm-hmm. maybe certain mistakes that you made in your past it's yeah. a, it, there's a reason why it's called your past <laughs> exactly. it's it's your past mm-hmm. imagine if you you driving on the road mm-hmm. and you're constantly looking behind mm. or your 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 you fix your gaze behind yeah that's an accident waiting to happen mm, wow. an accident yeah. that will not just affect you it's mm-hmm. going to affect other people around you as well yeah. So stop being stuck with your past and that your past could be things that you did, Mm -hmm. things that you said, Mm -hmm. things that people said to you, opportunities that you missed. That is your past. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're driving and especially when you need to change a lane, you Mm -hmm. have to glance quickly behind, right? Now, glancing quickly behind, you don't have to get stuck glancing behind. So it's the same thing. So don't dwell Mm -hmm. on remaining, you know, on on fixing your gaze behind. Glance behind real quick. Mm -hmm. Remind yourself, that's where I came from Mm -hmm. and I'm not going back there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm headed forward. And usually when people glance, it's just to check that there's no one there yeah yeah Yeah, we're not checking like oh where did i come from Mm -hmm. am i going the right way yeah no you 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 just glance to check am i going to run into someone else right no but we we don't like um i just love the stories we we shared um we don't dwell in the past Mm -hmm. moses his mind was stuck on like oh i'd killed someone Mm -hmm. or this and this had happened but when god came to meet him god was like this is who you are yes and this, this is the work I have for you. Yeah. So it's almost like God was like, Moses, what are you doing? Yeah, don't Because yeah. Moses had settled. Mm-hmm. He had settled where yeah. he was. He he was married. He was having his children. He mm-hmm. was like, I, I'm, I'm a shepherd now. <laughs> and God is like, listen, you are a leader. Moses. Yeah. Chop, chop. Hey, mm-hmm. You are a leader. Mm-hmm. People, an entire People are nation. in bondage. An entire nation does wow. the same thing for some of you. The world is waiting. Mm-hmm. The world is waiting. Step out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Step out of your comfort zone yeah. and start walking yeah. in the path yeah. that God has called mm-hmm. you to work mm-hmm. to, to to walk in. Yeah. You have you have ideas. Mm-hmm. You have ideas like they 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 they. I mean, and sometimes you 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 get it's almost like you get these downloads mm-hmm. and and you're like, oh, this is good. I want to do this. Mm-hmm. And then life happens, I mm-hmm. guess, and you forget about some of those things. Yeah. No, dig them back up because mm-hmm. there's a reason why that was downloaded to yeah. you. Yeah. And uh, just to piggyback on that, like remember Moses. Uh, when he had stopped being in Pharaoh's house, when he didn't want to be in Pharaoh's house mm-hmm. anymore, he, he wanted to see his people set free. Mm-hmm. So even before he had killed that Egyptian, that download was already inside yes! of him. Because he wanted to free his people, mm-hmm. but it just wasn't the right time yet. Yeah. So he, he was doing it from that place of really not knowing who he was yeah. completely. So but he, he was passionate he, about freeing yeah, his people. Yeah. He was. Yeah. You know. So there, mm-hmm. there are certain things that you 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 really? know yeah. deep inside. Like somebody mm-hmm. doesn't have to doesn't even have to tell you. Mm-hmm. Like oh, this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Deep inside those things that you're passionate about, mm-hmm. those things that bother you mm-hmm. in society. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and and I, I don't know where I read this from. It, and, and the person said, "What you tolerate, you cannot mm-hmm. change." Those it things that Miles, you cannot. Miles Monroe, Miles Monroe too, mm-hmm. right? 
those things that you cannot tolerate like mm-hmm. it's, those injustices mm-hmm. in society those things that you see and they really irk you yeah they really bother you they yeah. really i yeah. know for for elvis for example it's, mm-hmm. it's refugees yeah. you know like mm-hmm. seeing seeing people mm-hmm. leaving their countries and, and trying to find solace somewhere else and then yeah. struggling and be that i know that bothers him mm-hmm. and you know i told him the other day like this is this is what you're called to do this is your gift yeah. you know this is your gift this is your you area this solution. is your purpose you have the solution mm-hmm. to do do it yeah. do it yeah you know and antoinette as well yeah. you know so so pe- pe- people like that what are those things in society that mm-hmm. really bother, bother you? you start from there and yeah. dig deep go back to god mm-hmm. you know you know ask ask god like is this is this mm-hmm. is this what i'm supposed this to be doing but then sometimes i feel like you sometimes you know mm-hmm. a lot of times you know yeah you know so I mean, we're, 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 we're just reminding you mm-hmm. of what you carry inside. Yeah. And if you look, look in your past, like you, you have a lot of instances. We, we already gave you guys the example of Moses. Moses could not tolerate it mm-hmm. for the longest time. Yeah. You know, he, he was like, no, like what, what, what are you doing to my people? Yeah. He didn't have to, like mm-hmm. he was comfortable in the palace. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. he could have stayed in the palace mm-hmm. as, oh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying, life yeah. is good, what mm-hmm. is my own? But he was like, no. He couldn't tolerate it. He could it. not tolerate it. Yeah. So what is that thing mm-hmm. that you cannot tolerate? Yeah. Start from there. Mm-hmm. Start from there. And then, you know, reconnect with God. Yeah. Reconnect with God. Because yeah. there is something about that situation mm-hmm. that God wants you to change. Yeah. There yeah. is something about that situation that God wants you to change. Wow. So... Stay encouraged. <laughs> Stay encouraged. Stay. And and I guess this this is also part of what bothers me. Like when mm-hmm. people are not walking in their purpose. <laughs> it when does. We, yeah, it you know. Us, yeah. And, and this this mm-hmm. morning we were talking about it. I'm like we're like midwives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Helping you understand like you're pregnant with something. Mm-hmm. You're pregnant with something. Mm-hmm. And we're going to help you birth it, whether mm-hmm. you like it or not. Like that baby, that baby must come. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was a little too strong, but <laughs> but you know, like like for real, sometimes you can get so angry when you see someone yeah. has so much potential. Oh my goodness! But they but they it don't bothers, see it. Yeah. They don't see it. You know, you get me. mad. You're like, no, like what stop being there. This is who you are. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's her. She'll back it. <laughs> She's like that's her. You put that on me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> She will bat it no, for real. We will bat. We want to see. We're your cheer squad. We want to see everyone living out. Like we are in the process too. Mm-hmm. We haven't made it. We're in the process, and and we believe that doing these videos, like being that mouthpiece, mm-hmm. is one of the ways we are walking out our purpose. Yeah. Because we know that God has put something in us, mm-hmm. and that something in us is probably calling that calling something that thing out in you. you. You know that midwife in us helping you bath that which you you know you probably because there's some people who can be pregnant and they don't even know they don't know of that oh yeah, yeah. There, there are people that are pregnant and going to mm-hmm. labor mm-hmm. and they think they're having menstrual cramps yeah. or they're yeah. like ah, did i eat something yeah. like mm-hmm. you're, you're about to have a baby you're about to have a baby yeah if you check yeah. google there, there's a lot of cases like mm-hmm. that with women that go into labor they're pregnant full term going to labor start having but the baby and they're like it. what is that coming yeah. out yeah you know like, yeah. they did not know it so, so the thing is that, like, we are here because you may not know what you carry, mm-hmm. but you feel the bath pains. Yes, you don't know even you're feeling the bath. They're, they're stirrings. So I call them yeah. stirrings. Like yeah. they're stirrings. Yeah. Well, like, ah, why, 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 why mm-hmm. is that person doing that? Or yeah. why is why are those people going through that? Yeah. Why is that problem mm-hmm. still there? Why is there mm-hmm. not a solution? That's because you are the solution. Mm-hmm. You have you the solution to that, that pro- thing. problem. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you need you need mm-hmm. to start digging deep and walking in that purpose mm-hmm. and finding out that thing that you carry yeah um there there's this there's this hey, lady emma. that i'm friends with hey emma hi welcome share 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 um she's called lama she's mm-hmm. so um gifted yeah yeah and um I, she she blesses me almost on a daily basis we mm-hmm. have post and yeah. and she, she 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 said something the other day and she was like in in the days of Moses and Abraham mm. and all of them, yeah, 
why 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 did somebody not come up with the idea of maybe cars or planes mm. and is it that they did not have the raw material mm -hmm. hmm. they had they had they were equipped yeah. just like god has equipped us yeah somebody just needed to have that idea mm -hmm. and work on that idea mm. and develop what needed to be developed yeah you know mm. so it's it's the same thing with us today you are fully equipped yeah with that solution to the problem mm -hmm. a specific problem that the yeah. world has mm -hmm. and you're sitting on that solution mm -hmm. yeah you're sitting you're sitting on that solution stop sitting <laughs> on that on the solution mm -hmm. to our problems <laughs> i know we need you we need you <laughs> get up get busy mm -hmm. you know what's that thing that you've always wanted to do some of you have yeah. even known mm -hmm. these things from when you were kids when small yeah there were things that you always wanted to do yeah. Yeah. you know and for some reason mm. society ah no you're this yeah no what what are you doing no you should be you don't look like you mm -mm. don't sound mm -mm. like you don't act mm -mm. like mm -mm. says who? those are lies those are lies that need to be torn down yeah says who or sometimes even the society like makes that division that oh these things are wild like uh how do i say it um these things are not like there's this post i did this week about thinking out of the box mm -hmm. like there are strategies god will give us which will not seem to make sense mm -hmm. and i'm i'm talking about like you receive a download like for me when god said uh start doing live videos i was like but how does this connect mm -hmm. to what i'm, I'm already doing videos mm -hmm. but then he said start doing live videos every day mm -hmm. and you know like he was telling me i want you to think out of the box yeah in this thing that I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. So those strategies may not be like how other people are doing it. Mm -hmm. God may be calling you to step out of the box mm -hmm. in different ways. Right. And when he gives that download, like you just walk with it. Walk like with when it. he told Moses, walk towards the sea. Mm -hmm. You know, Moses reaches the sea <laughs> and you're like, okay, <laughs> well, you know, I think like, we need a GPS. Is this my life? I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> we need a GPS. <laughs> I'm not about to die in water. Now we yeah. don't even know if Moses could swim. No. So mo maybe Moses is just like, I can't even swim. Yeah. Like, what is yeah. God saying? But God but is like, did go it. towards the, the river. You know, he didn't even give them a, a GPS, a map or whatever. <laughs> like, he just says, go towards this. They went and they reached the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. You know, like, so now Moses is here. He's like wondering, how are we going to do this? Like, these people are following me. I'm a leader. Like, mm -hmm no experience nothing at all all he has is that stick Staff. in his yeah. hand mm -hmm. the lord asks him what do you have with you mm -hmm. you know i mean so he says just tap it mm -hmm. and that's sometimes god will ask us to do things that yeah. do not make sense mm -hmm. in the natural but those are the strategies he's giving us yeah. because if he gives us things that have already been given mm -hmm. then you know like it, it's not a new invention no. it's not a new strategy you might be thinking something that is out of the box completely, yeah. but that is the new strategy mm -hmm. that is needed. Mm -hmm. Everyone who's come up with a cure for something yeah. was something that was out of the out box. Out of the box, yeah. yeah. So, and, what, yeah. And I mean, and another thing is sometimes it sounds too big. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, I didn't yeah. just hear that. Yeah. God didn't just tell me to invent a flying yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. No. No, no, we'll that doesn't that make sense. No, getting smaller. Like what? Yeah. What? What? What are we saying? Like, yeah. no, God, is that you? Yeah. Are you sure that was you? Like Gideon. Mm -hmm. Gideon was like, I need proof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I need proof that you really said this. And you know, like sometimes we overthink it. Yeah. We 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 overthink it, and mm -hmm. and and obedience. I think mm -hmm. obedience is an integral part of the process. Yeah. God, I feel like God. God reminds us constantly, mm -hmm. like you're fully equipped. Yeah. I just need you to obey. Yeah, just yeah. obey, like mm -hmm. just obey. And sometimes listen it's just to a my little, voice. Yeah. Listen to my voice. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a little promptings. It's like little. Mm -hmm. just just obey. Yeah. Just listen to what Go I'm telling to the you. Left. I know the, right. the end yeah. from the beginning, yeah. and I know you can do this. Yeah. I will not call you to yeah. do this mm -hmm. if I had not equipped hey, Sylvia. you. Hey, Cecil, welcome. Please share, guys, and and if you have questions, even I I, I know we're we're kind of mm -hmm. um, fast with with, <laughs> with going 
going through you know everything that we're trying to say but if you guys have questions or you need clarification mm-hmm. on any of the things we're talking about definitely ask yeah. you know and we're, we're reading the comments as we go as well yeah so i mean obedience is a big part of it mm-hmm. you know sometimes just listen and do it as it, it sounds crazy sometimes yeah. it sounds impossible sometimes mm-hmm. Terry again I was listening to listening to her and she said she had read somewhere mm-hmm. where the founder of Disney yeah um when he when he just started and he would have meetings you know on okay what should we do like mm-hmm. which 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 movie should we make or what yeah. what new idea should we adopt and things mm-hmm. like that he will go through you know the members on his um, board and he'll be like okay what 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 this is this is what we're thinking this is what we're thinking and whatever he says and they're like oh yeah that that makes sense he's mm-hmm. like no we're not doing that mm. and then the ideas that he throws out and they're like no i don't think we can do that that's too mm-hmm. big that's impossible he's like that's what we're going to do mm, wow wow he's like that's what that's what we're going to do mm-hmm. and some of the things that the founder of disney has created it it seems impossible it's out of the box. like you look you look at how it's like mm-hmm. you know this hey, doesn't Rose. make sense hey mm-hmm. rosie yeah, yeah so this this doesn't Sometimes it doesn't make mm-hmm. sense even to you who is yeah. carrying the vision. Yeah. Even to you who 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 has you know God has deposited mm-hmm. that idea in you. It doesn't yeah. make sense to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it makes sense to, to the God. giver of mm-hmm. the idea. Yeah. Yeah. And God knows before giving you that idea, he mm-hmm. knows that he has equipped you. Yeah. And I mean like we were saying earlier on your your squad is Mm -hmm. very important as well Mm -hmm. who are you surrounding yourself with what are they speaking into your life Mm -hmm. are they killing that vision Mm. are they killing the sense of who you are are they tearing down your identity your true identity Mm -hmm. are they reinforcing that Mm. false entity if they are you need to change teams yeah Mm. this is key guys yeah. this is very important it's so important you know yeah. there's so many people mm-hmm. that have died and taken dreams mm-hmm. ideas yeah. aspirations mm-hmm. they've taken projects they've mm-hmm. taken inventions mm-hmm. to the grave and yeah. that's why they keep saying that the graveyard is the richest place on earth wow hmm. yeah wow so you carry something you have mm-hmm. something on the inside of you yeah you have something on the inside of you that the world needs you yeah. need to surround yourself with people mm-hmm. you need to surround yourself with people that will help you birth it yeah. you need to surround yourself with midwives yeah and not uh abortion clinics abortion. <laughs> i said oh, it oh my goodness that is i so said great. it <laughs> yeah because mm-hmm. some people will abort your they will dreams. abort your vision mm-hmm. they will abort your mm-hmm. identity wow. they will and, and mm. so, some of these voices mm. some of these voices are not subtle yeah some of these voices are even louder loud. than your own voice yeah where it's like by the time the real you is rearing his head they're like where are you going mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. do you think you are wow. yeah. who do you think you are yeah you yeah. have the audacity to dream yeah. you have the audacity mm-hmm. to have a vision you have yeah. the audacity to have an idea wow. as a matter of fact i do <laughs> that should be your answer <laughs> uh-huh as a matter of fact i, I do because yeah. the world needs me mm-hmm. yeah there is so mm-hmm. many problems in the world today there yeah. is so many in africa for example we are plagued with old mm. leaders that cannot lead anymore yeah in africa in in africa we are plagued with generations and generations of the same problems Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah countries you have african countries that nigeria Mm -hmm. for example Mm -hmm. is made up of how many how many million people Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there are some problems that we're facing in the world today that we should not be facing Mm -hmm. and the interesting thing is that those people who come from africa to go to other countries are the most successful they thrive like they thrive mm-hmm. which shows you the kind of potential africa itself just carries yeah and then inventions that come from there like you see small kids mm-hmm. making all kinds of inventions mm-hmm. or even people but because of the kind of society we live in where it's like no one succeeds you know or like oh this is the way things have always been yeah done. you have this the, is the way like, to you, be. you have, you have to, a limited yeah. You have a limited um, yeah. number of options. Yeah, you know, yeah. and I mean, the, there are people that that succeed, mm-hmm. but 
how uh, what 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 is the likelihood yeah that you're going to succeed yeah. what's the likelihood that you're mm -hmm. going to thrive yeah and and it, I, I feel like starting from finding out who you are what mm -hmm. you carry mm -hmm. yeah walking in that purpose turning yourself you know yeah when you are confident in who you mm -hmm. are and what you carry sometimes it doesn't even matter the environment it that you find matter. yourself in yeah it doesn't your matter. vision will find a way to manifest Ooh, itself like this movie we just watched called the padman oh yeah. <laughs> you guys need to watch need the to badge, watch it. but it's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an amazing yeah. movie. How this guy carried a vision, and the, the environment he was in did not was not equipped mm -mm. to take the baby he had. His wife know? was not even yeah. believing in his own. Vision. Like they did not believe like the, what he had, you know. And we're talking in parables here. Yeah, like he had, he had a vision in him that he was ready to birth because he was so passionate, passionate about, about it. it. He was nothing burning. Yeah. With the yeah. the fire of that vision mm -hmm. was consuming him. Yeah. It it threatened to consume his marriage. Mm -hmm. It threatened to consume his relationship with yeah. his family mm -hmm. members. He was ostracized yeah. for that vision. Mm -hmm. And he was ready. He was ready. And he's he like, I'm it. going to do this thing. Because he had a vision and he had a passion and he, he looked at the people because he looked at how many people will this affect mm -hmm. and how will it affect their lives positively mm -hmm. and so he went with it he, went he was with like it. it doesn't matter what people say it doesn't matter whether they accept it or not and and on his way he found supporters he did and he became what he had seen in his mind mm -hmm. it, 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 i mean he became even more than even he had more seen than, in his that's mind because remember true. at the end mm -hmm. of the and we're trying not to 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 do give to sell it sell the movie for you guys but in the end you know he was like all i was trying to do mm -hmm. was find a solution for this problem this for women mm -hmm. in my community yeah but in the end mm -hmm. and this is the the good thing about the movies is based on the true story yeah he was he found himself on a world stage yeah talking about this mm -hmm. vision mm -hmm. talking about this idea yeah and this vision has far exceeded mm -hmm. the ge geographical location yeah. where he found himself mm -hmm. this vision has affected the entire world that's how God wants it. She just laughed at Sele. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to sell it. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you carry something that yeah. the world needs. That, that's, mm -hmm. that was, that's what we're saying. Mm -hmm. You have people around you that are like, ah, mm. and sometimes age too. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, ah, you're mm -hmm. too old, yeah. you know, to be yeah. doing this mm -mm. thing. You think you can do, Ta. you know, remember, you pass the remember age. Remember Caleb and Joshua? Like, they were in their hundreds or whatever, and... Caleb said like he's still able to go and conquer mm -hmm. the land that he had already seen and this was like years later he was mm -hmm. like in his late hundreds mm -hmm. it didn't matter and even Moses himself they said like when he died he still could see he still could do everything his was sharp. because he, God still had a purpose for him mm -hmm. so as long as someone is still alive they're walking they're talking may not even be talking but they're alive <laughs> <laughs> to talk as long as you have Breath. breath in your lungs because that breath whoever has given it the manufacturer knows why he, he still, you still have it for a reason yeah. he knows why he's still sustaining it mm -hmm. because there's a purpose yes that needs to be fulfilled right there's a sector that is waiting for you mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. to be changed because mm -hmm. as christians we we like we should be the the top of this yes, of the cream light. in the society yeah we your are the light. light that means the whole world is in darkness mm -hmm. and we are the light they're supposed to be looking at us to be guided. Right. Yeah. Miles Monroe, was, uh, b before he died, yeah. he was consulted by presidents. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll yeah. call him and like, advise our cabinet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Advise our, you know, talk to my ministers. Tell yeah. them how to lead. Tell, yeah. tell them how to do this thing. Yeah. This is somebody mm -hmm. that was born in poverty, poverty. Yeah. sleeping on the floor, uh, roach infested apartment, hey, leaking, hey sis, you know, everything. Mm -hmm. And that's why he was like, your environment is not a factor. Mm -mm, no. Your educational qualification is not a factor. Mm -mm. This is breaking news. <laughs> Don't listen. <laughs> your educational qualification is not a, not factor. a factor. Your marital status is not a factor. How you look not is a not factor. a factor. Slim, big, um, medium, tall, not a factor. short is not a factor. Mm -mm. Yeah. All that mm -hmm. matters 
is what you carry. What you carry. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it. That's it. You stammer, Moses. Not a not factor. A, <laughs> you're a quick talker. Not, not a, a factor. factor. You're loud. Not a factor. You're subtle. Not a factor. <laughs> we, could, we could come up with a song with that. Not a factor. <laughs> it's it's not. It's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, your name. Oh, kids in Africa. Your name. Like a mm -hmm. lot of people think that. Oh, you're this person's son. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -mm. The school you went to is it's not, not a, a factor. factor. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. It's not. No. How educated you are, less educated no. you are. All those things help. They're good. I mean, they, they help, but yeah. it's not, it's not mm -mm. a determining factor mm -mm. to yeah. what you carry. Or to the quality of your product or no. the quality of Ooh. your gift. It's exactly. not. That's true. Which school did Moses go to? Uh -huh. <laughs> Which person <laughs> is like stop or speak to me? <laughs> right, it's it's not a factor. No, you know, mm -mm. stay yeah. connected to the source. Mm -hmm. We cannot reiterate yeah. this enough. Stay connected to, to the, the source. source. Work on mm -hmm. developing. Yeah. Oh, work on finding out who you are. Yeah. And walk in what that he purpose. Has you are. He has the manual. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, he has the manual. People. People will help you. People are to support us. Mm -hmm. You know, they can confirm and stuff. But but we can listen. We we have the ability to listen to God on our own. Yes. You know, like sometimes it's so it's so sad that people abort their dreams mm -hmm. because other people do not see it. Yes. And you know, like God came to Moses, mm -hmm. and then Moses had to go, and and then God also had to go to Aaron. You know, but Moses. It was between God and Moses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So sometimes people may not see what God has spoken to you. Right. God came to Gideon. People did not see. People did not see that interaction. Mm -hmm. So it was up to Gideon to rise up to what God had called exactly. him to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So people may not see what God has called you into. They may not even accept it or like even believe in it. But it's like you know God. What God? I'm seeing this. You. You've called me. I'm going to hold just your keep hand working at it. Yeah. So that relationship with God and just continuously going back to the manual mm -hmm. is what be, is be needed. diligent. Yeah. yeah. Be diligent, be consistent, yeah. be intentional mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. And yeah. you you start reaping yeah. the rewards. Oh, consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz you know the the world I was thinking about this yesterday cuz I did a video on this. The world shapes us. Mm -hmm. The world, the Bible says, do not be conformed. Mm -hmm. And that word conformed there is do not be shaped, mm -hmm. do not be squeezed into a mold. Right. The world is continuously trying to squeeze us into a mold mm -hmm. through media, through newspapers, mm -hmm. through everything. It's mm -hmm. constantly trying to squeeze us mm -hmm. into a mold consistently. Mm -hmm. There's no day where the world would be like, okay, let's take a pause. It's on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Or let's take a pause. It's on Tuesday. We're mm -hmm. not going to like continuously say these things we're trying you know like oh yeah. how do you look how do you um what's your race mm -hmm. what is your skin color oh how do you talk you know it's consistently trying to shape yeah. our identity it doesn't take a rest it doesn't take a rest so we should also not take a rest mm -mm. in continuously going to the manual yes where you're like you know what, god the world keeps on throwing all these things at me trying to shape me mm -hmm. trying to force me into right. a mold mm -hmm. but it's like continuously having to renew our mind right what does christ say i am mm -hmm. what does he say i have inside of me right. and surrounding ourselves with people who people see that surround your yeah. squad guys yeah. your squad if they don't see it you know you're like I'll, i know where to put you you're like we don't those kind of, voices yeah. are loud yeah those voices are loud they'll be like ah mm -mm. no you can't mm -mm. talk mm -mm. no but you're shy mm -mm. Ah, ah, you're this mm -mm. very shy person no. you're not even smart no no, no. They, no. they will not listen yeah. to you you you, yeah. you embarrass mm -mm. yourself mm -mm. You know, yeah. you don't have enough money for that. You don't, you don't, you're not from that background. Yeah. Are yeah. you sure you're going to mm -mm. be admitted into this program? Mm -mm. Yeah. No, don't even mm -mm. go for it. This thing is hard though. This thing is hard. It's very mm -mm. difficult. Mm -mm. And then they, they have, ex they always have examples. They do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this friend of mine, she spent this number of years trying to do this and mm -hmm. they did not succeed. They kicked her out of the program. Experience they should not, should not dictate. No. Do not dictate who we are. No. 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 Even if I fail, like today we were talking about cars. You know, just because someone else had a bad experience with a car does not mean the someone car is should, bad. Yeah, it doesn't mean the type of car is bad. Mm -hmm. You know, you still go if you if you if you know something is what you want. You go look into it. you've counted the cost and you're like, this is it. You do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. So it doesn't matter what people think, mm -hmm. whether they see it in us or not. Or not. 
Yeah. Those as are long lies. as you see it, you see it, and God has confirmed it. God has said, "This is what I see in you," because mm-hmm. He's backed it inside of us. It's those passions that stir inside of us. Mm-hmm. It's there. It, whatever it takes. And, and if we you look in the Bible, a lot of the people that God used, you know, yeah. he, he he he's always like, like Abraham was like, "What do you see?" Yeah. yeah. As far as you see, I'm going to give to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't say as far as it is, the, as far as you see. So what mm. you seeing is a factor. Wow. Yeah. So you have to believe it inside mm-hmm. of you. You have to see it and see big. Don't be scared to dream big. Don't be scared to yeah. let your imagination go wild. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let your imagination mm-hmm. go wild. As big mm-hmm. as you've received it, mm-hmm. see it. Yeah. You know, like Disney, we love, I mean, I love Disney. I'm like a f- big fan of Disney. It's because they help us think yeah, out of our imagination. Think beyond our imagination. Outside the box. And that is what the Bible says. It's, uh, what does it say again? <laughs> Where? <laughs> what? It says, you know, um, more than what you can think, more than what I'll you can perceive, you. more than what you can even, like, believe. Like, it's beyond your wildest mm-hmm. imagination. Yeah. That is what God has called us into. Mm. Because we serve... Eyes a, have not seen, ears have not exactly, heard. Exactly, that's the one. Eyes have not seen what the Lord has prepared for us. Mm-hmm. It is beyond our imagination. Yep. If we could see it, then, you know, like, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be God. It would God yeah. is eternal. Mm-hmm. He's beyond time. So he says, eyes have not seen, even yes, have ears not have not had. The mind has not even perceived hey. what the Lord has prepared for us. So go big or go home. Yeah. So he might... He, <laughs> that, that was good Don't go home. <laughs> Don't go home. It's okay. Just go big. Yeah. yeah. Go, go big. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like she said, let your mind marvel. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not just for those people in the world. No. Even for us Christians, like, there's, we can think big. Mm-hmm. We, like we should be the ones owning Disney. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's good. We should Listen. be the ones running the entertainment sector. Yes. Because mm-hmm. we have constant downloads from the one who's the most creative. The 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 the, the, yeah. o- the, owner, the owner of the of entire creation. everything that you see and yeah. the, the the creator of the entire yeah. universe is your father. Yeah. yeah. What are you and doing? And we what constantly, are we doing? like, he'll give us amazing downloads, mm-hmm. you know? Like, someone told me this, that um, th- that Facebook was downloaded to actually a believer. But yeah. because he did not see the vision, Mark Zuckerberg got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg got it. Okay. Don't quote me. No, I know, don't, don't. This is not very... Guys... That was not verified. <laughs> we don't know the validity of this example but that she just gave. What I'm trying to say is that as Christians, we carry an exponential potential. Ah. Ooh, did you exponential potential? I know. <laughs> we carry an exponential potential. potential. Like we've not even tapped into a little bit of it. Oh, we've yeah. not even tapped into it. Because he says beyond what your eyes can see, what the mind can mm. perceive, what the ears have had. Yeah. Like we carry, like the world is waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Um, I was reading Daniel. Daniel says that, you know, those who know their God will do great exploits. exploits. Mm-hmm. They, and they will take action. They'll show great strength. Mm-hmm. You know, so that is who we are. Mm-hmm. And it says that those who know that God, those who know the manufacturer, mm-hmm. those who know, that means going back to those basics, going back to the source. God, who are you and who do you say I am? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like when, once that intimacy is formed, like we're unstoppable. Yep. Go Moses was unstoppable. Gideon was unstoppable. Yeah. You are unstoppable. You are unstoppable. So surround yourself yeah. with the right squad. Mm-hmm. Go big. Yeah. And you know, just watch God use yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Watch God do do His thing. Yeah, you know. And uh, and watch our videos too. <laughs> watch our videos. <laughs> We're your cheer squad, yeah. guys. Like so. uh, we have some videos that we've just released mm-hmm. uh, on identity series where we go more deep into like why why do we have this ability? Mm-hmm. You know, when someone says you can do this, why why does God now? Why does God say we can do this? What is it that he has put within us? Mm. He says the same spirit that was in Christ 
is it's now in alive in oh. us. Um, Miles Moore recorded that too, and he mm-hmm. was like, "That was another thing that just lit his life up." Yeah. You know, where he was like, "I carry what Christ, what carried. Christ carried. I it's have dominion." Carry. So it's he's what like, what, "What, what, what is stopping yeah. me?" You know, yeah. what, what is stopping? Like me? Jesus just walked, and people were healed. Imagine mm-hmm. that's what we carry. P- was like it people, Peter's shadow? Yeah, yeah that, Peter's that shadow. Him. Yeah, yeah. So that's the same thing we carry. Everything can be affected by who we are because the Holy Spirit lives in us. Mm-hmm. So that's what we do in our identity series. The videos, are, like you see them, we post them. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just go deep into understanding what we now carry within yeah. us. Yeah. And uh, with each video, like we tackle, like it's, identity is so broad. It is, yeah. And of course, it's connected to your purpose. Mm-hmm. So we make that connection as well. But in each video, like we carve out a little niche. Like today, yeah. we were talking about meeting yourself, mm-hmm. reintroducing, yeah. you know, introducing you to you encountering yourself yeah. and the difference that that should make and mm-hmm. sometimes those those different pictures it could create a dissonance yeah. you know because you you're, you're like no I, I no that's that cannot be mm-hmm. like who is this person this yeah. is not me yeah. no but that is you that is you that is the you that God the right that era. God that God created mm-hmm. you know this is the yeah. picture that God wants this is how God wants you to see yourself yeah and when you start seeing yourself that way you don't even have a choice anymore. Mm-hmm. You start walking in your... But what did Jeremiah yeah. say? His word is it's like fire dying. in my bones. Mm. I cannot shut up. Yep. That's yep. what happens when you meet you. That's what happens when you encounter yourself. Yeah. The real you. Mm-hmm. You can't help it. Yeah. You can't that help so it. Good. Yeah. And then you have mm-hmm. like... like like People start getting drawn mm-hmm. to, to you because you bear fruit. Oh, yeah. You will... Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. like, there's this. I think mm-hmm. is it an African proverb that says that a tree without uh, without fruit does not suffer from stones. Hmm. You know how back back home, mm-hmm. did, you, did, you, did you guys do that in Kenya? Like where, of course, I'm sure you did. Mm-hmm. Um, where maybe like a mango tree mm-hmm. that has ripe fruits, like you yeah. you throw stones at it so the the fruit falls. Yeah. You guys didn't do that. No. Oh my goodness, they didn't do that in Kenya. I think guys. we shook it. How do you shake it? <laughs> it's okay. What if it's like a big mango tree? Like, how do you shake it? Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, like, you, you throw a stone at it for uh-huh. the fruit to fall, right? I think we probably did that. Yeah. I didn't live much in the village. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my gosh. So only people in the village do stuff like this? Yeah. Village people. Anyway. That was kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways. We went off tangent now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um... Like we, I guess it's a Cameroonian proverb. Then I should mm-hmm. say, you know, they say a tree without without fruit, fruit does, does not, not suffer from stone. from stones. Wow, you huh. know. Uh-huh. So once you you start bearing fruit, mm. you will attract people. Mm-hmm. You stones. Know. You will attract people, and stones. then sometimes no, not just <laughs> just stones. Sorry. You will attract people, both negative and positive. Want your fruit. They'll want your they'll fruit. They'll want your fruit. Mm-hmm. You know. So yeah. you attract people both negative and positive, but yeah. people will be attracted to that, that vision because so mm-hmm. it's bearing fruit. Because yeah. it's 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 mm-hmm. you're you're doing something yeah. with it. It's solving yeah. a problem, yeah. you know. Yeah. So those opportunities hey, will start okay. coming. Hi, my brother. Welcome. Yeah. Please share. Please mm-hmm. share, guys, as you as you come on. So mm-hmm. you won't you won't even have a choice. You won't even have a, a an, mm-hmm. an option, you know. So and and for those of you who are already walking the path, because mm-hmm. I mean, like I feel like sometimes we make it sound like you, there's people out there that yeah. are doing this stuff that yeah. we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Miles Monroe did it. Um, Joyce Meyer did it. You know, like this lady I'm talking about, Fizz Lamar. She's she's mm-hmm. she's walking that walk. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and sometimes it may it may seem like you're still starting off. Mm-hmm. You know, and and it's you're taking those baby steps. Mm-hmm. But that's part of the process. Even the yeah. Bible says, "Do not despise the days of little mm-hmm. beginning. The, keep at it. Yeah. Be diligent. Yeah. You know, keep walking yeah. the walk. Mm-hmm. Keep keep you know being intentional mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. You know, keep doing it, and it's going to bear fruit. Yeah. It's just a matter yeah. of time, and stay connected to the source. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of time. It's going to start bearing fruit, and you know, um, um, it's going to start attracting mm-hmm. the following that yeah. you're you're craving to see at this point because like that is so good like sometimes uh i know even in ministry people you get discouraged want to get discouraged because you want to like who are my followers who and all that like even 
uh, I was listening to the same video, Miles Monroe, where Jesus was so funny with his followers, where he was he was actually looking for people not even to. I don't. Well, how did he say it? It's like um, he had all these followers, right? Mm -hmm. And then he started saying things that made people look at him funny. Where you're like, eat my He's flesh like, and drink my, flesh, my blood. Drink my blood. Like, Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> who are we following? Because <laughs> that day he lost so many so followers. So many followers, yeah. And then he turns and looks at his disciples and he says, are you, are also, you going to yeah, go? Are you to? also going to go? Mm -hmm. Like he had a funny way of recruiting people, you know? <laughs> But then Peter looks at him and says, who else can we go to? Mm -hmm. You carry the words of life, yeah. you know? So sometimes it's not about the followers. It's, it's not like about you the, just how many? bear the yeah. fruit. You just Keep bear the it. life that you have. And those who need it will come. Will come. Yeah. Yep. Those who need it will come for the fruit. So it's just shining that light. Those who need to know where they are going, those who need to see the path mm -hmm. will follow the light. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I mean, it, it, uh, piggybacking on what you said, mm -hmm. it's not about the quantity. Mm -hmm. It's not about how many followers, how many likes am I getting? How many, sometimes it's just that one person. One person. And I feel like that's yeah. what Jesus was trying to help us understand yes. there too. Like, yeah. I don't, it's not about this. I yeah. don't need this hundreds he or thousands of people. just people. 12 people. Yeah. And look at the impact. Yeah. Look at the impact. Yeah. Has Sometimes it's today. just that. You just need yeah. that one yeah. person or two people mm -hmm. that will believe mm -hmm. in that vision. Yeah. Oh, you're talk good. about exponential potential. <laughs> you're unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. surround yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and like we said, it's not in the number. Sometimes, you know, for those that are married, maybe it's your spouse, yeah. you know, just somebody that believes in that vision. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just that one or two other mm -hmm. people in your circle yeah. that, that believe in that vision that can yeah. hold your hands and, and be like, I I can see I can this see happening. Yeah. I believe you're mm -hmm. equipped to bring this to fruition. I believe yeah. you're called to do this thing. I believe you can do this mm -hmm. thing. Because yeah. that that support is is, is necessary. Yeah. You know, because there are times when, I mean, see, like Elijah. Mm. Was it Elijah was it? that was, was depressed after he, yeah, it was Elijah. Yeah. After he um, slew the prophets of Baal. Mm. Yeah. You would think that he would have been on a high. Like, mm. ooh, like I just... Yeah you know one uh, uh, defeated all these people mm -hmm. and you know the light of god he was depressed and he yeah. was like god i want to die mm -hmm. yeah you know so you need, need you people. need you need to surround yourself with the right squad yeah you need to surround yourself with the right mm -hmm. voices with the right people that can you know speak, see the real you can see the real yeah. you see what you carry you know speak to that vision yeah you know and help you but yeah that vision and and that's why the the prayer for god to raise up helpers is very mm -hmm. it's a very very important prayer yeah when you carry something and you have a vision mm -hmm. it's important to you know pray that god will, will send you helpers so, yeah. or that god will help you establish connections mm -hmm. you know you know yeah. how uh, connections is a big thing here on earth like who do you know who mm -hmm. do you know who knows who yeah you know yeah but with it uh, as christians first of all the main connection we need is god mm -hmm. and then pray that god will also help you you know connect connect yeah. connect you to like-minded people mm -hmm. yeah connect you to like-minded people people that maybe are in in that in the area of mm -hmm. what you are aspiring to do yeah you know, because in some cases it's something mm -hmm. that somebody is also doing, but God is raising you up to also do something like that. Like that you know, too. to expand yeah. the the impact or the effect of of that thing. Yeah. So sometimes you need to to connect yourself to people that are doing you know like minded mm -hmm. things. Yeah. You know, or yours it could be a niche. You know, in something in that something somebody else. is doing, yeah. but you need to be connected. Mm -hmm. You need you need to be connected. Yeah. So. I mean, we said a lot of things today. <laughs> yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> Are we? You said done. go with the flow. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, if you guys have questions, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, um, ask us. You mm -hmm. can inbox us at Iron Cafe or you can just go right ahead and, you know, drop the question on Iron mm -hmm. Cafe. We have a YouTube um channel channel mm -hmm. we have a few videos on there but we're going to keep uploading more videos on there as well yeah. and we're mm -hmm. trying to be consistent with that yeah so if you can subscribe to our youtube um share it 
you know mm -hmm. watch our videos on there like comment we will very much appreciate it and share this on your page guys somebody need, this is a very important message yeah um this this is blessing me mm -hmm. i believe it's blessing you as well it is. <laughs> and we're hoping that it's blessed you guys mm -hmm. too um yeah. we're going to be here every saturday Mm -hmm. um, and then during the week, you know, Olivia does videos. I'm going to do a couple of lives as well. Yeah. So we're going to be in your face. Mm -hmm. um, so get used to. Get used to. To your cheer squad, your midwives. <laughs> yeah, well, we're your midwives. You, you must, you must birth. This is the season of Get ready. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, this is baby shower. <laughs> so get ready. Because the baby is coming. <laughs> Duala. Like it or not, where your doula, doula, doula. Anyway, <laughs> we love Did you guys. Where your doula? Is it doula or doula? Doula. Yeah. <laughs> doula, doula is the economic capital of Cameroon. Why not your doula, guys? Why your doula? <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> we are out. We hope this helps you catch yeah. a glimpse of who you are. Yeah. And just see what you carry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, be blessed be and blessed. have a beautiful Saturday. Bye. Bye.